London has the highest median monthly rent at £1,430. It ranks shoulder to shoulder with other expensive cities in the world such as Paris, Zurich and Hong Kong. Living in London is a dream. You can never run out of things to do. Whether you want to see the cutting edge art exhibitions, iconic attractions, secret spots, theatres, stunning green spaces, football matches and a lot more. However, the rental prices in London can be nerve-cracking. But don't worry, you've got me. That's why I'm coming up with this list for you. Top 10 cheapest places to live in London in the year 2023. I would say I embark on an intensive research to come up with this list. I've done all the reading, I've watched all the video. You don't need to do any of this again. I've already done that for you. All you need to do is to like the video and hit the red subscribe button Let's get into this video. Coming at number 10 is Waltham Forest. Waltham Forest lies 10 miles outside of the city centre in North East London. It's one of London's greenest area and it's made up of Clingford in the north, Leytonstone in the south and Walthamstow in the north. Most of the affordable apartments are situated in Walthamstow. This place treasures a rich history of art and craft going back centuries. There are plenty of restaurants and cafes to satisfy residents and visitors, and it's only 45 minutes away from central London. Number nine is Red Bridge. Red Bridge is in East London. Red Bridge has a high quality schools and open green spaces. It's a perfect area for families looking to rent. The average asking price for a three bedroom is 1,900 pounds. The Buru is becoming increasingly popular as transportation links are being expanded. Crime rate in Redbridge is relatively low compared to other London boroughs. It's home to young and relatively well-educated population. On number 8 is Havering. Havering is known for its variety of restaurants and good food, as well as its thriving high street mixing with well-known brands with local retailers. There's an appealing choice of school for families and with a range of open green spaces. It's the capital greenest borough, making it perfect for nature lovers or those for pets. Havering is the fattest London borough. It would take approximately an hour to get to London city centre on a car. That doesn't mean it's not a lovely place to stay. It's the best place for those who like their peace and serenity green fields and woodlands. Another inexpensive place to live in London is Barking and Dakenham, which is located in East London. It's very easy to get to central London with great roads and public transportation. It's a young and multicultural community, lots of affordable housing and fantastic transport links. We have the district and Hammersmith and city lines. This area has a big plan for the future as it is in the midst of a regeneration program for new homes jobs, parks, and well-connected neighborhood. Hillingdon is in West London. This is the second largest London borough. Hillingdon's most famous landmark is the Heathrow Airport. There are 20 outstanding primary schools nearby, around 146 restaurants and cafes, over 927 shops. We have 15 underground and overground stations, in addition to four railway stations, allowing residents to travel further afar. This place is home to Brunel University, and Stockley Park, London. There's plenty to choose from this place. Much of the surrounding area is green belt, so if you are looking for a balance of city life and outdoor activities, then you should consider Hillingdon. Bromley is the largest London borough by area. Now the fourth safest place to live among the 32 London boroughs. Fully secured area with a low crime rate as the area is well policed. Bromley has a mixture of urban lifestyle with rural charm and it consists of 30% farmland. It has lots of green spaces and many parks and always referred to as a magnet for young families. On number four, we have Lewisham, which is in South London. So if you are considering house sharing of up to four rooms, then you should be looking at Lewisham. It is less than six miles from Central Station, 12 minutes from Victoria, London, and the main town of South East London Borough. Lewisham will give you the real London city vibe Good base for food and shopping with lots of indoor shopping and open air markets. A rich sense of community and diversity drive here. Lewisham has been picked as the major London Borough of Culture this year, 2022, 
and there has been a lot of gentrification in Lewisham in recent years. So rent is steadily increasing year by year. Sutton is one of the most tranquil boroughs in London. This is a peaceful neighborhood that is both safe and beautiful. It has great restaurants, shops, and commuters can catch a 30 minute train to London Victoria Station. The crime rate in Sutton is very respectable and ideal for families. Sutton is known for its best quality schools and a thriving high street. Outstanding outdoor public spaces, lettings here is popular with families as new developments are increasing. This makes Sutton very attractive for first-time buyers. Crowdon is an area popular with young renters. A lot of young and vibrant people are trooping into Crowdon. There has been a lot of progress recently and many opportunities that makes people think about Croydon. Great place for transportation, one of the areas in London with a tram system. I've never even seen a tram in London before and they still have lots of trains. It takes just 14 minutes to get to London Bridge Station from East Croydon Station, known for its extensive shopping and nighttime frivolities. Croydon is famous for its graffiti and other street arts. And at number one, we have Bexley. Bexley is the cheapest place to live in London with an average rent of just £1,100 per month. This is spread across various properties, types and bedroom sizes. Bexley is a hotspot for student accommodation. University of Greenwich and Rose Bruford College are the two closest institutions in Bexley. Travel can be as quick as 45 minutes to central London. Bexley is one of the greenest boroughs in London. It offers many parts of woodland and it has been ranked historically as among the top two boroughs in London in terms of safety and crime. That's the list for you. Like I said, you don't need to go look for any other information. This is the latest list. If you like the video, hit the like button and hit the subscribe button to see more content like this. Meanwhile, check out this video, top 10 places to live near London. Great information. Share the video to anyone that is planning to move down to London. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace and love.